Hi Kurtoshis, my name is Victoria, I'm the social media contributor to Kor and welcome with another video. And this time we will continuing our conversation around interoperability with a discussion of blockchain bridges. By the end of this video you'll understand what bridges are, what purpose they serve and how they are crucial to fostering an open ecosystem. So let's go! So what are blockchain bridges and how do they work? In the real world bridges are connecting structures that allow you to cross a distance perhaps over a canyon or a river in order to reach a spot on the other side. Well, blockchain bridges operate on a similar principle, offering a connecting structure between different blockchains that allows data, assets uh, and more to flow across. Imagine that you're holding a token when you realize there's a chance to make some money yield farming on another network. Without bridges, you would have no choice but to sell your current holdings and try to get set up before the opportunity disappears. But the bridges remove the need to go through all these steps. There are many different bridging architectures, but two of the most basics and most important are wrapped assets or liquidity pools. With asset wrapping, you deposit your tokens into the bridge and you then have received a synthetic wrapped uh, version of those tokens on the other chain. The wrapped asset is worth the same amount as the original and you can unwrap it whenever you want. With the liquidity pool approach, you also deposit your assets into a pool on one side of the bridge, after which you to receive an equivalent amount from the corresponding pool on the other side. Regardless of which route you choose, bridges mean the whole blockchain world is open before. At least it's open if there is a bridge connecting two projects you're interested in exploring. That said, you should bear a few things in mind. Bridges can evolve high fees and long wait times depending on exactly what you're doing and which blockchains you're moving across. What's more, bridges vary in how centralized they are. Trusted bridges are operated by centralized administrators, while trustless bridges are not. Make sure you know which bridge you want to use. Liquidity pools also carry an additional danger of a price slippage, wherein small changes in the price of an asset from one chain to another Another ultimately impact the value you control. So why are blockchain bridges important? The main reason blockchain bridges are important is because they foster cross-chain interoperability. For its part, interoperability is important for a few reasons. Firstly, it enhances liquidity across the entire network of blockchain projects by allowing digital assets to move freely rather than being confined to their native platform. There is a substantial increase in the resources available for decentralized applications. Decentralized autonomous organizations, the DAOs, and similar ventures. Secondly, interoperability addresses the blockchain trilemma, balancing scalability, security, and decentralization, highlighted in one of the previous videos. Each blockchain has its strengths and trade-offs among and through interoperability. These chains can complement each other. One chain might focus on optimizing security, while another prioritizes speed or user's capacity, for example. Lastly, cross-chain interoperability opens up space for innovation and experimentation. It simplifies the process for developers to integrate diverse functionalities, assets and data from various different blockchain projects. This reduces barriers to entry and development complexity, making it easier to create powerful innovative solutions that could revolutionize how these technologies interact and function. So. There you have it. This should help you understand the blockchain bridges and the role they play in cross-chain interoperability. I hope you learn a little bit more in our core academy, so give us a follow and stay tuned for more videos like this.